Yo, what's up guys? We're getting right into these power-ups of like who's the best and starting off at number 5 we're going with 93 Derek Carr. As you can see right there, 82 speed, good stamina for him to roll around the pocket and be able to, you know, if you need him to go on those long drives to get going in position and the throwing stats are there. You see a lot of 90s which is a great plus and addition and you can see 4,900 training. You know, for all these power-ups, as we're getting up those power-up passes, we're going to have to start stacking up on training. So, just something to think about moving forward. But this card is really good. And I that's if you're in need of a quarterback. So, that's my number pick. That's my pick at number five. Coming in at number four, we got 92 Patrick Willis. Right out the gate, this car just really caught my eye, just with the speed, the block shed, just the strength, even the jumping, like be able to maybe get those nice user picks or just him be able to reach than other linebackers standing at 6'1. And as you can see on the top right or corner, you see three, you know, less training instead of for Derek Carr. So if you're really tight on training, something to consider. And if you're in need of a position of need, you know, so you have linebacker. And yeah, so I, I'd say that, um, you know, great block shed. He does all things right. And I haven't played with the car personally, but it's someone that I would want to get on my team just because of what he looks like he can do. He has also, he also has 75 zone. The play rick is there as well. This is who I have at number four on the team. Coming in at number three, we got Jamal Adams. Now, this dude has been balling out in real life just this last week or our football. And you can never go wrong with a Jamal Adams card. He's always been glitchy and mad, and he always plays hard. Just And his stats are just, he has corner stats, like solid corner stats, above average of corner stats for some of these corners that are now in the game. As you can see, great play rec, great pursuit. He has that hit power. And that 66 block shed is also helpful if you want him at corner or just, you know, when he's manned up or, you know, has to cover a zone. Great, like, solid tackle and the man in zone. If you cam him up even more, it's just glitchy, solid speed. Just everywhere, A-plus across the board. Someone you guys should go for and, you know, see in the training, 294 eight, two thousand nine hundred and four eight. I can't talk, but... I, he's, I think he's worth it even if you have Pat Tillman because you guys could just run those interchangeably and just dominate in the secondary, you know, in the zone. So that's my number third pick for who you should use. So moving on to the next one. So coming in at number two, you got Tyreek Hill. I did a gameplay with him. A while back and this guy is just he's a glitch he's a legit glitch yes he doesn't have the best catching stats but that 95 speed is a real difference maker with what he can do and it's just he just gets open and he can create a four yard gain or a four yard pass to a 20 yard gain or even more that's how glitchy this card is and you can even get get him his speed even higher which is something that's even more crazy just thinking about because you could just burn dbs um i've seen them burn you know top tier legends and just this guy's just an animal just a, just a glitch the only knock on him is just hype but he's still good enough to do something that great so this is my guy coming here number two and now moving on to the number one spot
coming in at the number one spot. You got your boy Randy Moss. This guy is a glitch. I've with height, catching stats, speed, spec, everything. Just this guy is just a definition of a cheat code in the game. And if you can have him on your field, it'll make a lot more of difference on your team if you have him. And I think he's top tier over. Tyreek just because of the height and the the way improved catching stats and just him be able to burn people still with 92 speed that's someone people should go for if they're in need of wide receiver help because you know that Tory Hope is not the best and you always need that other wide receiver to compliment him so that's who I think is number one option just so just because of how glitchy he can beat people off press or, you know, just in general off these corners and make some amazing plays. And then you can even add, chem them up and add even more X factors and all other good stuff of chemistries. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Just my top five cards that I would use my power up pass on. So, you know, let me know if, what you guys did with that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.